Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel and today is our final creation for the month of Halloween, which today is Halloween, so happy Halloween guys! Woo! I'm doing nothing. But that's okay, we're not going to be depressed about it because we have spent this entire month creating some really cool looks and I decided to finish it off with one of my favourite characters, which is Beetlejuice! Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. He didn't appear. And yes, the back of my hair is not painted because that's, once again, a lot of effort that I don't have. But yes, guys, we did it. We did four looks throughout the month of Halloween. This is a real big achievement for me that I actually stuck to it. I really hope you guys like this look. And if you'd like to find out how I achieved it, keep on watching. Oh, and don't forget to go over to my gaming channel to watch some scary games being played. Oh, Okay, so let's jump into this tutorial. I have already primed and moisturized my face. So the next step is to paint my entire face white and I'm just going to be using my classic Snazzaroo paint in the shade white. So now that we look sufficiently like Mrs. Doubtfire, Hello! we are now going to move on to powdering the face, just making sure that it's all set and not moving. Next, I'm just going to take the Makeup Revolution Flawless Bird of Paradise palette. I'm going to be using the shade Island, which is this lilac colour here, and we're just going to be popping that all over the eyelid. Don't be afraid to be messy with the eyeshadow, as you can see I drag it right out just to give it that bit extra drama. I'm then just taking the Morphe 35M palette and this deep purple burgundy shade. I'm just going to be using that to define the outer V of the eye and just give a bit more depth to the eyelid, whatever that means. Sometimes I just say words, but they do mean something, I think. I then decided I actually wanted to do a cut crease, so I'm just going to take some concealer and just carve out half the eyelid. I'm then just going to fill in that carved out area in the shade Budgie, which is a lime green colour. I then just go back in with my blending brush just to blend that purple and green into each other so it looks a lot more smooth. Then just moving on to eyeliner, I am using the Rimmel Wonder Ink eyeliner and I'm just going to do a quite extended wing, nothing too crazy. For the underneath of the eye, I'm just going to take that deep purple burgundy shade and just blend that under. I'm then just going to go in with my Charlotte Tilbury Rock and Coal Eyeliner and smudge that out, add mascara and then that is the eyes complete. So to contour the face, I am just going in with the green we used on our eyelids, which was the shade Budgie. Thank you. 
Next, I'm just going to take some green face paint. I'm also going to be using this sponge that I have that I ripped little holes out of just to give that kind of stippling effect. And I'm just going to be popping that on top of the contour we've just done. I'm then just taking this green from my Mehron Bruised palette, don't worry I will link everything down below, and I'm just going to do the exact same thing going on top of that lighter green, this is just going to give the effect of the moss that he has all over his face. So finally for the face, I am going to do the lips. I'm going to be using the Barry M Matte Lip Paint in the shade Avant Garde, which is a metallic purple. So that is the makeup complete, I now just need to paint my hair green and get into costume. So guys, here is the finished look, I am very happy with it. I also just grabbed this little blazer off Amazon dead cheap, I think it was only about seven, eight pound and you can use it for all different looks but obviously it works perfect for this Beetlejuice look. So guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did please give it the good old thumbs up and if you fancy it subscribe and this is it for the month of halloween we did it four looks one halloween month i hope you guys enjoy your halloween please stay safe and i will see you guys in the next video bye beetlejuice 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 Showtime. What are your qualifications? Ah, well, I attended Juilliard. I'm a graduate of the Harvard Business School. I travel quite extensively. I lived through the Black Plague, and I had a pretty good time during that. I've seen The Exorcist about 167 times, and it keeps getting funnier every single time I see it! Not to mention the fact that you're talking to a dead guy! Now, what do you think? You think I'm qualified?